What? Do you have any opinions about anything I just said? I mean, I thought I'm not supposed to have an opinion. I'm back here. Oh my God. What up, mofos? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Monet Exchange here, but <laughs> it's Kevin right now. And today's video is a little different because today I'm giving you guys Colleen's clean routine. Oh my God, that was so poetic and beautiful. I'm giving Colleen a bath. I am trimming her nails. I'm cleaning her ears. I'm cleaning her eyes, her nose. All the things that I had to do with her um, bi-weekly about. She just started making noise as I started recording. Can people hear that? Stop. That's what I thought. Um, her moisturizer routine, everything. So if you want to see that journey, stay tuned. So before I go get Colleen, I don't know, I'm like whispering. I'm like, I don't want to like upset her. Honestly, I feel like cats can sense that stuff. So I'm going to get the water going so that it's nice and warm. I keep the temperature at about like a nice, sensible 74 degrees. A little warmer than room temperature because Sphinxes don't have hair and they get cold really easily. So I like the water to be a little above warm so that she feels really comfy. Shall we? Oh, come on, camera one. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh my God, is my bath, is my tub clean? Cause y'all know y'all motherfuckers are rude as hell. I'll throw the water up all the way. I get it to like about like 33% tank. How tall would you say Colleen is? On all How fours. tall? <laughs> like a foot. Not even a foot. She's like eight inches like on all fours. Okay. How, how tall are you on all, on, on, on all fours? What I was first trying to figure out what shampoo to best use for her. There were so many things about, oh, use this, use that. One of the things that a lot of people recommended was the Aloe and Eve Organic Soap. And I tried using that like twice and it just wouldn't get her clean. I would like be scrubbing her down. And it just wouldn't get her clean. And then I saw some say, just try Johnson & Johnson. Girl, that sounds like my fucking tap is a UTI, bitch. Just trip, trip, trip. So this has been the best thing so far. It gets her really clean. She smells really good. It's really turned on her skin. At one time, I got like a little soap in her eye with the old shampoo and she was like crying. I felt so bad. But Johnson & Johnson's for babies and look. No! What's that song? I know I'm gonna I've got no tears to cry. So I'm picking it up, chipping it up. <laughs> Ariana Grande. Oh. So I get this. I'm just gonna Drop some in here. Is she is she standing there? Mm-hmm. She's being very weird. So this is not normal. She is showing off with this motherfucking camera, bitch. Now, does a cat need all these bubbles? Probably not. But it's like you want to give her the whole experience. Also, she does a weird thing sometimes when she starts to drool in the bathroom. I don't know if that's normal. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> How do you misgender me? Like parent. Okay, like parent. Wow! Like wow! Wow! I have the I have the the subject. She's being very calm. This is very nice. She knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. Hi, Mimi. Just a little bath. I'll be over before you know. Oh, she's gripping. This always breaks my heart. This breaks my heart. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm sorry. Ah. Beating so fast. Anytime I do this, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get my cat a heart attack! I'm gonna get a little of the Johnsons on my little thingy. It's okay, baby. Uh, there we go. We're rubbing you down, getting all that brown tinge off of your skin. She's fighting. She's fighting. The, the, the meows are so cute. Oh, don't grab that. Get off. 
Okay, you can do that if you want. Okay. Needs to get what's the what's the image on the Colleen cam right now? You're about to make her only fan. <laughs> <laughs> On that demon time, she might start her OnlyFans. Well, let's get under your neck, BB. I oh think God, she's so sad. It really breaks my heart. She hates it. I see other Sphinx videos. People are like, the cats love getting bath. Like next time, if you fill the bath up more, there's like more warm warmth to like you think encompass so? her. I'm afraid she's gonna drown. Well, not if you don't hold her head under. <laughs> it just makes me so nervous to fill it up. I'm like, what if I don't know? No, not all the way. I'm saying just like for her. Well, I'll say this is like, the hard part. I'm trying to get some more solution so it can like rub under her body. Let me just do the bottom bead. Come closer to the thing so you're in more water. I think, Patty, that might be a really... Like, maybe it's the bead. Maybe, because maybe being out of some of the water is making her cold. Maybe. That's... You know when you get out of the shower, it's, like, cold? Yeah. So maybe, like, because you're, like... Or when you get a massage, when they put the hot towel on... Girl! And then they leave? Bitch, you're freezing. <laughs> and that's probably what's happening. <laughs> You probably like w like put the warm water on her, and then she just freezes right now because it's not. She's, she's not, not like shaking. Like when she's cold, she normally shakes. Oh my god, her claws are so. I need to trim her fucking nails like literally in this moment. I gotta give her a little butt. She got a little booty booty juice back there. Okay, every time she every time she comes out of the little box, I literally cold wipe her butt. Cause I'm like, you're not gonna put no brown rings on my goddamn uh, pillows. Imagine you lay on your pillow, you put your head out, you see a big old brown poop ring by your head. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that is not cute. Maybe, maybe like keep her from like getting up and maybe give her a second to like. Okay, true. Feel out the water. Okay, she's mm. feeling it out. Well, maybe she's trying to run for it. I don't know. But... No, she, I think she's just hanging out. No. Ah! We thought we could trust you. You lied to us. Now you lie, you lied. I've never been so thin. Yeah. If everything was like super warm, she probably wouldn't be mad. She wouldn't be mad at it. Patty wants us to submerge Colleen in two feet of water. <laughs> just let her figure it out. We'll try that. This is a little weird. I just gotta get the little stuff on her face. I'm gonna clean her eyes after this and her face like with a cotton swab, but she has like little brown tinges on her ears, just on the tips. Don't go in the ears. Do not go in the ears. Just the tip. Just the tip and around them. Don't go in the ears. And she has just a little. This is on a scale of one to 10. This is her being pretty good on this bath, like a seven. Normally she's like a five or a, a four, like literally squirming. She's like, coming for me. She is. She is about to attack, bitch. Take a shot, Iman. It's coming for you. Mm. Oh god, the fans are gonna read me. Well, Monet, you fucking idiot. Why don't you have more water? You fucking dumb piece of shit. You don't know anything about cats? Well, not you holding her arm like that while you say that. <laughs> you full on looked like Mommy Dearest. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Colleen. I'm mad at the dirt. <laughs> Now. I think she's liking it. What do you think? 
Look at her butt. She definitely don't like that. Yeah, she don't know. She like she probably like people playing her ass. She's not. She's not into butt stuff. <laughs> Okay, you look, I just want to get right, so the parts that kind of like dirt, like right in the crevices, like in like the bending of her, this, of her arms, the neck, the neck looks pretty clean, 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 and I just want to get her, her, her back leg, sorry. She, it's just her leg, what is, what is the problem with the feet? What's the weird, cause you know Colleen, Colleen has a foot fetish. Colleen loves shoes, she loves feet. She's like, please take me out. Okay. It's probably getting cold. Yeah, I think, well the water's still really warm, but I think we're done here. <laughs> Peter gonna get my ass, girl! All right, all right, all right, all right. We're done, we're done, we're done. Girl. She fully caught me in my lip. Bleeding. Oh god. Bleeding? Yeah. Girl. He got me. She's like, I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. So she's all nice and swaddled. She's being very she's being a very sweet girl. I've dried her up a whole bunch. And um, I first started with Q-tips. Now I don't know if this is just Colleen or all sphinxes, but she gets a lot of she gets a lot of eye boogers. She gets a lot of boogers, um, but her ears are not as dirty as I've heard of other people. So I just go in with, with a Q-tip and I just clean up because, as I thought, there are eye boogies in there. I do it after the shower because I feel like the shower like loosens up any gunk in her nose, in her ears, and in her eyes, like any dry eye boogies that might still be in there. And this part, she's pretty nice and sweet for. Also, I do this almost every day. I clean her eyes and ears and nose probably daily. See, she's, she be, she's really sweet for this. She doesn't whine a whole bunch. She just does, I think she likes this. And just like any mother, I just see, is this, is this weird? I wet a little bit with my tongue, with my saliva. I mean, that's what moms do, right? Hey, have you ever been there when your mom is like, did your mom do that to you? Probably when I was little. <laughs> I think every mom does that. Right. When you do the ears, do not go too deep into the ears. You go pretty, like, shallow. Oh. I can't see. So look at that. Look at that. That's good, girl. We getting in there, Miss Colleen. She's emotionally exhausted. Right. <laughs> She's like, I have no more fight left. <laughs> but you taking it all for me. She gonna you no, know, she know, can you know what? Cause she knows at this point. She's realized what's all happening. She knows she gets gotta give her a nice little peanut butter treat after. Um, baths because it's like a snack, not like all the other snacks. This is, is. and uh, so she likes, she knows she's about to get her little peanut butter moment on. So now I clip her nails. Sometimes I, sometimes I do it when she's sleeping if they're not too long, but it's been about a week and a half since I've clipped her nails last. So I'm gonna clip her nails now that she's nice here and swaddled. Oh, see, the more when, when she starts, feel like she can, she's getting loose. She's like, I'm about to, I'm about to dip. Look, look at how long her nails are. Jesus Christ. There we go, Colleen. How do you know where to, like, where to stop looking at? Oh, so yeah, that's, that's a good question. Now, again, I am not a professional vet veterinarian. I am not a professional cat groom or whatever. I just watched YouTube tutorials and my own vet. And for the nails, 
So animal nails, there's like, they're long and they, and they claw, obviously they're claws, but there's like a little pink part that has flesh and like cells and shit attached to it. So you don't ever cut into that pink part. You just want to go where you, where, 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 where you can see through the nail, that's where you should clip, if that makes sense. Now, if we had like a professional rig, maybe we could zoom in and give you like some type of Miss Frizzle fantasy, but that's not what we're doing here today. Look at that. You see? That's good. And get those thumbs. You always forget about the thumbs. Bitch, like the first month I had her, I forgot they had thumbs. And that thumbnail, I mean, was... It was so sharp. I was like, oh my god, what is that? It was fully a thumbnail. Get us one hand. Where's your other hand, baby? Where is it? Thank you. My sweet angel. Angel um, There we go. Two. That's why she said, ow. You hear that? If you ever clip your cat's nails and they scream, you're doing it wrong and you should stop before PETA getting that ass. Now let's get her, let's get her to toes. And you're almost done. It sounded like before PETA gets in that ass. Before PETA gets in that ass. Isn't that not what I said? I said Yeah, Peter. you did, but then it, but then it also could be interpreted as before PETA gets into it. I mean, but honestly, I hope PETA does get in this ass, honey. I think it's, it's, she's getting restless now. I didn't hurt her. Sorry. You make me look like a bad mother. The scene where Christina talks back and she just slaps her. <laughs> Only can you please be good for the last, literally two more seconds. You, I have literally three more toes. Three more toes. Where is it? Almost done. Here we go. All right, now that's that. Now, the last step in the cleaning process is moisturizing. So again, Sphinx don't have, don't have fur and they can get sunburned. So to counteract that, after a nice bath and after a nice nail trimming and grooming and fantasy, like you get a little all natural vegan coconut oil. And then I just, oh, I just dip my finger in it, get, put some in my hand about twice. So I have like enough. Okay, you're not trying to like lather her on her face like she's going to black party. You're just trying to get like <laughs> enough on her skin to moisturize it so she doesn't get sunburned and the skin doesn't dry out. So, I'm gonna get her and just rub that all over her, her belly, her back. I get some on her legs, on her tail, on her head, her ears. Under her arms. And that's the process. Now she will sit and eat it and stuff. Go ahead. Um, and she like lick herself and so, but it's, it's just coconut oil, so it's completely fine. It's not gonna kill her. And um, that is the clean <laughs> grooming process. It is very. I'm like sweating. I feel like so crazy. There, there she goes licking it. Um, I feel so crazy, but it is necessary because again, sphinxes need it. They don't. They do lick and self clean like other cats. However, they don't. Um, they need 
bad because of the uh, um, the oils and, um, and um, dirt that gets stuck on their skin because of their lack of fur. So yeah, that was my Colleen cleanup video. I think next video we're gonna take a, a beat from Patty and just fill the tub up with three gallons of water and just let Colleen do what she do. Right, Patty? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank y'all for watching today's video. This was super fun. I'm happy you had a little Colleen moment. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and put on the notifications. Y'all see this button right here? This button right here. Notifications should be mother tucking on. Because then you won't know when I have a new video. And that's really important. And you should subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing, Miss Thing? What are you doing? Until next time, y'all. Thank you. Mwah. Oh, not coming for the flashlight. She's like, now I'm all lubed up. Let's get wild.